Hey everyone, welcome back to SFDC Ninja and I am back with 69th video of Apex Tega Scenario Series. This scenario was asked by NTT Data for a 3 years of experienced developer. So without any further delay, let's begin. As we always do, let's first understand the data model. In this scenario, we are going to use two objects, event and event distribution. On event object, we have a field event capacity which is of number type. Similarly, on event distribution object, we have another field which is distribution and which is again of number type. On same object, we have a field status which is of picklist type which contains value confirmed and waiting. Also this event distribution object is in lookup relationship with event. So this is the data model. Now let's understand the requirement. So in today's scenario or requirement. Whenever a new event distribution record is created, then we need to decrease the count of event capacity on the parent event record. And if the event capacity reaches to zero, then we should allow the new event distribution record to be created, but the status of that new record will be waiting. Let me explain the scenario again, but this time by using an example. Let's say we have a record of event whose capacity is 10. This is the event record and its capacity is 10. And user creates a record of event distribution with 5 in distribution field. So this is the record of event distribution and its distribution is 5. So now at this point, 5 should get decreased from the capacity of parent event record. So 5 will be decreased from the capacity. Now the capacity is 5. After that, let's say user creates one more record of event distribution with again 5 distribution in it. So this is first and user creates one more record with distribution again 5. So again 5 should get decreased from the capacity of event record. Now the capacity of this event record is 0. So next thing that should happen is creation of event distribution should not be stopped. I mean event distribution record should be created but with a condition which is that the status should be set to waiting. So the next time when the user will create another event distribution record, let's say user will create third record, then its status should be set to waiting. So this is what we need to do today. I hope you got a clear view of the requirement. Now it's time to code. So let's go to VS code and create our handler class. Let's name it event distribution handler. Let's create our method. Let's say trg method. Now guys, if you look at this scenario again, then you will understand that our code should execute whenever event distribution record gets created. I mean it is event distribution object which will trigger our code. So what we will do, we will pass list of event distribution object in our parameter like this. Distribution, let's name it new event distributions. Basically, this list is equal to trigger.new because when we call this class from our trigger, we will pass trigger.new in it. So this list is equal to trigger.new. Now in the requirement, we need to update the capacity field of parent event record, right? So in our first step, what we will do? We will store the ID of parent event in a set. Let's apply a null check on this list. iterate over it apply one more check like this not equals to null and here what we will do we will add the event id in a set so for that let's create a set first
copy the set name and paste it here and here simply add the id in it now the question arises that why we have created this set and why we have stored event id in it so guys see we need to update parent event of event distribution record which is being created right that's why we'll be needing parent event record details which we can easily fetch by using this set so in simple terms we have created this set to fetch the parent event details of the event distribution record which is being created now what we will do we will simply store event details in a map using this set so let's store it map id event event map select id will be needing event capacity also from event where id is present in this set so this map will make our work easy let me tell you how in our code when we need to update the parent event record then at that time we can simply pass the parent event id in get method of this map and this map will return all the details of that event making it easy to update that record now in next step we will iterate over this list for event distribution distribution so this list contains the records which are being inserted now this is the point where we will use this map so let's use it like this event parent event copy the map name paste it here and we will pass the event id of this event distribution record like this now this is the main part of our code so guys first we will cover the requirement in which if the capacity of an event is zero then the status of event distribution record should be waiting so for that we will apply a check like this first apply a null check on this one and here apply that check parent event dot event capacity so this is to check that if the capacity of an event is less than or equal to 0 and if this condition will get true then we will set the status to waiting so copy this one paste it here dot status will be waiting this is first scenario now let's cover second scenario in which we will reduce the event's capacity by the distribution value of the current event distribution record so let's cover that also let's write else copy this parent event dot event capacity will be reduced to distribution now guys there is one more thing we need to cover so here this reduction can cause the capacity to go negative so for that what we will do we will simply set the event capacity to 0 to ensure that it does not drop below 0 so apply another check if parent event dot event capacity then we will set its capacity to 0 and now we will simply update the parent event record present in value of this map so copy its name apply a null check on it and simply update it save it and deploy it to org
ओके वी आर गेटिंग एरर एंड वी आर गेटिंग एरर इन लाइन नंबर थ्री ओके सेव इट एंड डेप्लॉय इट अगेन ओके आई फोगोट टू यूज वैल्यूज हेयर सो दैट्स वाई वी आर गेटिंग दिस एरर that dml requires as object or as object list type now it should be deployed it is successfully deployed so we have our handler class ready now let's create a trigger and name it event distribution trigger now you must be thinking that why we have not used any dml operation for event distribution object don't worry i am going to explain it also now it is obvious that a trigger will be on event distribution object but the question is whether we should use before trigger or after trigger i mean we could say that since we are updating other object record that's why we should go with after trigger but the thing is if we will use after event then we will get read only error why because in our code we are also updating the same record which is triggering the code i mean the record from trigger dot new and it is another fact that in after trigger context records are read only so that's why we have to use before trigger so here simply put the object name and we will go with before insert only and simply copy our handler class name paste it here copy our method name and pass trigger dot new save it and deploy it to org it is successfully deployed also here updating the parent event record is an explicit operation i mean updating the parent event record is not automatically handled by trigger context like trigger dot new for event distribution so we have our code ready it's time to see it in action so let's go to our org here first we will create an event let's say test event name and capacity we will give 10 click on save now let's create event distribution record also click on new event distribution one for event let's select the event which we have created earlier and distribution will be 5 let's refresh this page so as you can see that here in the event capacity 5 gets decreased which means our trigger is working fine for first operation now what we will do we will create one more record and here again we will give distribution 5 click on save here the event capacity is 0 now let's test the second scenario which is if we will create event distribution record for an event whose capacity is 0 then the status will be waiting so let's create third record event and distribution let's say 4 click on save now here as you can see that the status has been updated to waiting which means a trigger is working fine so that's it for today guys and definitely i'll be back with more interesting trigger scenarios thank you and keep watching